Hello, I am Vernisa. Welcome back to the channel. But if this is your first time, welcome. Are you a people pleaser? Are you a self-proclaimed people pleaser? Or maybe someone had told you that you may have some people pleasing tendencies. You struggle with making up your own mind. You struggle making decisions without someone's feedback. You struggle giving too much of yourself and you also struggle to use boundaries. Well, if that sounds like you, you need to stick around because most likely this message is for you. Tell me if this sounds familiar. I can't help myself to help someone. When someone call me, I feel so moved to go and help them. Or when I extend myself, when let I let them borrow something that belongs to me, I always get hurt by it. Listen, I get it because I also had those people pleasing tendencies. Here's a question for you. Is it possible you are experiencing unwanted feelings and emotions when you help someone in need because you are functioning in the flesh and not from the Holy Spirit. Let me explain. When we accept Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior, when the Holy Spirit comes within us, the Holy Spirit gives us power, gives us guidance, the ability to use the gifts, the spiritual gifts that God has given us. Here's a confusion that I have learned when I went on my journey to be healed from a people pleaser. I felt this this pressure in my heart, this pressure in my stomach. As a people pleaser, one of the things that happens is we have this motivation to please people, please their desires, please their needs, please whatever it is that they want in that moment. And you just happen to be the person that they can contact because you always say yes. Let's be real. You always say yes. You always make yourself available to them. So they will call you before anybody else because they know they can get what they want from you. And that is not a good feeling to have. It's not good to feel like you're being taken advantage of. It's not a good feeling when you give your last to people based on their wants and needs, and now you're struggling and now you're lacking. And maybe it was a time that you called those very people that you went on to help them and now they aren't available to help you. It's a drag, it is a bummer, it's very stressful for many of us. It's anxiety provoking and depressing. Here's my encouragement to you. That partnership with you and the Holy Spirit when it comes to utilizing, walking in the gift of giving, the gift of mercy. Because now you have the opportunity to ask the Holy Spirit, should you give to this person or should you not give to this person? And even in those moments when you're wrestling with, oh, but am I being selfish or is that right? Last month, they did help me out. So I have to help them. Or do you? I want to offer for your consideration. When we are considering helping someone, that we ask God first. Because when we offer ourselves to people and we don't get that in return, Unforgiveness comes in, resentment, and also confusion. It feels amazing to help people. It feels amazing whether those people are our loved ones or even our kids or a neighbor. It feels good to do that. We, we feel validated. We feel worthy. We feel like we accomplished something. We feel like we are in purpose. Asking God for discernment is very important to do. He will help us to guard our heart from continuous heartbreak and resentment and unwanted experiences. And I want to add regarding the gifts that God has given us. Let us remember everything, everything, whether tangible or not, God allows us to be able 
to give. If you are living a life of Jesus being Lord, you understand that our bodies are the temple of the Holy Spirit, that we are to present our bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God, which is our reasonable service. So it's very important that we check in with him before we get caught up in situations that we don't want to get into, okay? So the spiritual gifts God has given us through the Holy Spirit. The purpose of those gifts are one, to edify the body of Christ. Two, to reveal the will and character of our Heavenly Father. He's the creator of us all, and he's also the giver of the gifts that he's given us. He knows how they operate. So it behooves us to ask him, to lean into him. How should I help this person? What is the best way? Because another thing about being a people pleaser is that we are also enablers. We rush to help so quickly that we are not thinking about is what we are considering help is really hurting the person. Are we stopping them for growing? Are we stopping them from not seeing God? Because God is working in the background. We don't know, right? So we don't want to continue getting in a way of God's purpose for a person because we want to step in and be a fixer. So V, what are you saying? When Jesus is your Lord, your desire is to please God, pleasing him first before you please man. That brought me deliverance from being a people pleaser because I had to realize and I had to look within myself and ask myself valuable questions. When I do things for people, am I doing it because of validation? Am I doing it because of my own selfish motives? Am I doing it? to infuse the people-pleasing more, the people-pleasing tendencies. What areas of my life I am void of core needs that I need to utilize myself being a people-pleaser so that I can get something from someone else, enabling my own self. I wanna share with you a couple of things just to give you something to think about. The next time you feel the urge to please people before you please God. One, check your motive. Why is it that you wanna to give to this person? If you give to this person, you think it'll make you feel better about yourself, that you may feel like you have value, that you are a good person, and you want to feed the need to feel wanted, to feel desired. The second thing is checking with God because when you are not sure what it is that you need to do, the Holy Spirit, if you allow him, will guide you, will give you wisdom concerning the person and also your motive. Is your motive to people please or is your motive to please God? And lastly, three, and this is a very practical tip. When this person call you for help, what is an automatic thought that comes in your mind? And how does your body immediately respond? If your automatic thought sounds like, well, last week they did something for me, you know if you don't help them, they won't call you back anymore. If your body immediately respond with anxiety, feeling off, even feeling woozy, if you begin to feel emotions, of anger, resentment, even fear. Fear of what the person will think. Fear of how the person will respond to you. Fear that they may wanna end the relationship. Fear of obligation. Well, this person drives me to work or they help me with school. I have to help them. And if that is going on, daughter, go back to step two, checking with God to process number one. As well as my contact information, I'm also going to add a spiritual gifts test for you to use. Of course, it's not children in stone information, but it is something that may start you to just figure out, get a good feel of what are your spiritual gifts, 
how you can bring that information to God for him to bring you clarity. I hope this message was helpful. Let's end pleasing people and begin to please God. See you later.